Crystal River Middle School teacher accused of spreading racist ideas is waiting to see if she still has a job. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is in Inverness, where Citrus County School Administrators are now deciding her fate. Not a word about teacher Diana Volatich's racially charged white nationalist podcast were mentioned at the first school board meeting since news of them came out. Not until the public comment session. Bigotry and racism and prejudice have absolutely no part in our public school system or any system, school system, or any position of authority over any child. Citrus County resident Leslie Barris tells me Volatich deserves due process, and if the facts play out, she should get the ax. She sounds like she's clever, but I think that the school board will go through an investigation and the facts will come out. So many other researchers have already looked into this, and that's just the way it is. There are, there are races that have higher IQs than, than others. Through her attorney, Diana Volatich maintains the views expressed on her blogs and podcasts are satire, meant to attract listeners and followers. Citrus County School Administrators will decide if that's the case. It's under investigation, and as soon as it's uh, completed, it goes back to the employee for 10 days, and then it'll become public record. On her social media posts, podcasts, and blogs using the name Tiana Dolichoff, the social studies teacher suggests certain races are smarter than others, that Muslims should be eradicated from the earth, and that it isn't hateful to prefer your own people over others. The process includes potential interviews with students, staff, and Volatich. A final decision on her employment status could be weeks away. In Inverness, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.